Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about the different actuarial functions. Like accountant and other professions, there are many different areas you can focus on as an actuary. We're mostly involved in the following four functions. Pricing, reserving, economic capital, and as a liability management. Under life, reserving is known as valuation, but they are essentially the same thing. You may wonder why the area's focus can be different between the two industries, and that is because their insurance products are very different. Your home and car insurance are renewed annually. The insurers are more concerned about what will happen now and in the near future. But for life insurers, they have to assess their risks for more years to come. Without further ado, let's dive into each one of them. Pricing. Pricing is also referred to as rate making in the PNC industry. Pricing actuary's key responsibility is to determine the premium need to be charged to policyholders, with some other considerations like inflation, unleveling, large loss, and etc. While on life side, mortality rate is their key pricing assumption. Ideally speaking, the resulting premium should be both competitive and profitable. Moving on to reserving, the reserving actuaries calculate the amount of money companies have to set aside to cover their future liabilities. This amount of money is known as reserves. The liabilities here is also referred to as unpaid claims. Basically, any future payment to claims that occurred on or prior to the financial statement reporting date. Because unpaid claims is an important item of the financial statement. Reserving actuaries are heavily involved in reporting as well. Next, we've got economic capital. Their job is to determine the amount of capital companies have to hold in order to remain solvent at a certain confident level. If you work as an EC actuary, you will develop knowledge in stochastic modeling and capital management. You're likely to use model to estimate the capital requirement for a one in a 50 year windstorm or one in a 100 year earthquake because these are the events that are more likely to put a company in financial distress compared to the more day to day losses analyzed by reserving. The last function we have here is asset liability management. Their goal is to identify and assess of ALM related risks like interest rate risk and liquidity risk, along with the development of an effective risk management infrastructure. They may work on things like running performance reports for different portfolios using different financial derivatives to hedge different risks. Among all the ALM people, only some of them are actuaries. The rest of the people are mostly CFA or FRM. FRM stands for Financial Risk Manager. There are also developers or people with MBA degrees on the team. Like I mentioned earlier, ALM is more related to life insurance industry. The life companies have to closely monitor and manage the relationship between their invested assets and their future policy obligation. Although PNC companies don't have ALM department, they do have people work on risk management. And similarly in life insurance companies, there will be people doing capital management and reporting, but they just don't make up a large amount of the actuarial population. If you want to learn more about what we do and where we practice, you can check out the links in the description box down below for my other videos. That concludes my video for today. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.